I'm going to show you how you can take your light switches from this to this. Let me show you how I did it. I'm Bianca. And I'm Grant. And, and this, this is, is The Lake House Project. We're going to be using buster and punch switches and dimmers, and they're a bit on the pricey side, however, I do think you get what you pay for, and it's nice to splurge in a particular room, but maybe not the whole house. The first step is taking off the cover for the light switches, then I went through and unscrewed each individual light switch so I could take a look at the wiring. I then went through each switch one at a time and replaced the white switch with the new buster and punch switch, making sure that the wires were all aligned in the same orientation. All right, so I just finished wiring all these up. It was relatively easy because all I did was just see what the connections looked like before, undid them, and then just redid the same connections on each switch. And I just did one at a time so I didn't confuse myself. And obviously I turned off the breaker before doing that. Once I was finished, I wrapped them all with electrical tape, and then I turned the breaker back on and checked to make each one worked. Luckily, they all did. I thought I screwed up, but I just forgot to turn one of the switches back on. So I actually did everything correctly the first time, which is nice. So now we kind of have to bundle this up and put on the four gang plate and then put on all of the accoutrements. This part is actually a little bit challenging because with four gangs, you have to line them all up really perfectly. And I also need to make sure I line it up evenly around this border that I already made with the oak wood. So let's get to it. So here are all the parts that we'll be installing on top of the switches. And here is the four gang plate. And this actually came with eight of these. I was a bit confused at first. Uh, but these type of plates are for switches that go up and down and then this plate is for the dimmer and so we have three switches so we'll be using three of these and one dimmer so we'll be using one of these the other four will just be extra and we have really nice brass hardware these are for the three switches this is for the dimmer and then these will go over top of our screws and these are just basically a little tool to help screw in these gold screws so let's go ahead and get started So now I'm getting ready to install the plate and it takes these screws and as you can see, they're a bit long and I just am going straight into this oak. So I'm gonna use my drill and drill out the hole so this has a little bit more room to go in and the plate will sit nice and flush. So I just wanted to show you guys how these screws work. And so this is the screw that you use to put in the electrical plate. And then this part here is the cover that goes on top of it. And I thought it was just a snap on, but this is actually a really, really cool feature. This part actually has a little tiny screw on the end of it. It might be a little hard to tell. There's a little screw right there. And then on the inside of this screw, it's again hard to tell, but there's a recessed part that you can screw the other piece into. So once this is put in, you can take these two pieces. So it's a bit difficult to show, but you gotta be careful. But this screw actually screws onto this plate. So then they become one like that. And then you just see this part, which has a piece of it that kind of looks like it's meant for a screwdriver, but purely just decorative because you don't need to use it. Isn't that cool? All right, so now it's time to install these little gold accents over top of all eight of these screws. And again, it comes with this little plastic piece. You put this in here like so, and then you can screw it on. And you gotta be careful because these threads are real easy to break. So you don't wanna go too hard as you're doing it, just enough. And then you want to align them all. So I think I'm gonna go sideways, so. That looks good right there. Now we're just going to do the other seven.
And that's gonna be a wrap on this project. I really like the way that it turned out, and I think the black and brass colors go really nicely with this wall and really complete the look. I also really like the tactile feedback you get when flipping any of the switches. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them. And if you like DIY projects, we post a new one every Saturday, so subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if it helped you out. And as always, thanks for watching and happy building. See you next week.